Hello everyone, this is Doug Turner with Thor's eLearning Solutions and today I'm looking forward to discussing our course release of Fundamentals of Ductile Iron Part 2. Before looking at our newest ductile iron course, allow me to provide a refresher. What is Thor's? Thor's, the helpful online resource site, provides educational courses for a variety of manufacturing industries, including metal castings, polymers, gears, engineering drawings, and many, many more. Through an interactive format full of navigable flowcharts, automated GIFs, and full-length 3D animations with voiceovers, the Thor's learning experience is as unique as it is beneficial. So, what is included in the latest ductile iron course from Thor's? Ductile Iron Fundamentals Part 2 picks up where the first course left off and takes learners through a step-by-step -step process of pouring ductile iron into molds and the solidification that follows. Some of the learning objectives include the importance of time and temperature when pouring ductile iron, the basic elements of a gating system, and practices involved in good pouring techniques. And that's only the beginning. The course also covers traits of thin and heavy casting sections, nodularity verification, tensile and hardness testing, heat treatment processes, and many other areas. However, one of the most critical sections of this course pertains to ductile iron defects. Let's face it, defective parts or products are bad for everyone. So Thor's has taken extra care to provide as much information as possible in this area. For instance, shrinkage, also known as shrinkage porosity. Shrinkage is a common problem for ductile iron castings. So what is shrinkage? Well, as metals solidify from a molten state, contraction occurs. The total area occupied by the metal decreases. During this liquid contraction, voids might appear in certain areas of the castings. These voids are referred to as shrinkage, and the results are castings with deteriorated properties. In other words, shrinkage can prevent castings from performing properly in service. The course provides actual photographs of various types of shrinkage, including open shrinkage, shrinkage under riser, interior shrinkage, and microporosity. The visuals are great, but the course doesn't stop there. Thor's provides ways in which shrinkage porosity can be limited and or eliminated. Some of the tips include choosing the right chemistry based on section thickness, minimizing forward segregating elements, pouring at the right temperature, and designing risers that encourage directional feeding to occur. This course offers a wealth of knowledge regarding not only shrinkage porosity, but other defects such as pinholes, slag and dross inclusions, excessive carbides, and abnormal graphite shapes. And if you really want to dig deeply into shrinkage porosity, Thor's also has an hour-long webinar presentation that looks extensively at the root causes of shrinkage porosity. So please, head over to Thor's.com and check out our amazing courses, webinars, and interactive tools. In addition, each course has dozens of interactive quiz questions to test your knowledge. And be sure to look for Ductile Iron Fundamentals Part 2, along with any of the other courses we have on steel, cupola furnaces, bonded sand molding, engineering drawings, the list goes on and on and on. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Doug Turner with Thor's. We want to give a special thank you to our ductile iron expert, Al Alagarsami. And, as always, We'll see you next course.